Welcome to Akira Yoga. In today's class, we'll open up the hip flexors at the front of your pelvis, the whole of the front of the body, as we stimulate into both the yang stomach meridian and yin spleen meridian. Also, releasing the emotion of worry that may be held within the body. Come into any comfortable seated position. You're welcome to use cushions or bolsters. Lengthen through the front of the body, releasing the shoulders, the face. Join me in Chimmaya Mudra, curling the three fingers inwards and bringing your thumb and your index finger to touch. The gesture of awareness keeps our mind in a state of balance and calmness. By controlling our anxiety and stress levels, just find any position that suits your body for your hands. Making sure you're comfortable. Lower or close your eyes. We're just going to spend a couple of minutes here in stillness, allowing us to become present for the practice today. So bring in your focus to the breath at the nose when you're ready. Begin to notice your breath here. Notice your inhale as it enters your body. Notice the exhale as it leaves the body. And any natural space between each breath. Not worrying if the mind wonders this happens to everybody. Gently practice bringing the awareness back. Beginning now to allow the eyes to open. Just take a moment to notice how you feel from a few minutes of stillness. And coming to the back of your mat when you're ready into a kneeling position. You are welcome to use padding under the knees if you need this support. You could also use a cushion under your pelvis. We're going to be stretching the toes out for our first position and you may find that being in a kneeling position is enough for your ankles, your toes. You could also sit on blocks here to create some height and take the pressure off the feet. If you would like to go into deeper stretches, you have the option of bringing a bolster or cushions under the knees. And the closer you bring your cushion or bolster, the deeper you'll go into this ankle stretch. Our final option is to roll back onto the toes, lifting the knees without using any support. Find a position for your hands that suits you. Relax your shoulders. If you have your eyes open here, find a focus point in front. 
It's a two minute hold. The stomach meridian is associated with both the second and middle toe running through the top of the foot and our spleen meridian inside the big toe. Try and bring some stillness by finding your breath. Creating a comfortable but deeper inhale. Extending through the exhale so we can release all tension and tightness with each breath. We know from the previous classes the breath is our anchor. It will allow us to stay with the stillness. It provides a mindful meditation. And as we extend with each exhale, it will help to release any stress and anxiety within both body and mind. So let's stay with the stillness here now for the final part of the pose. Mindfully and slowly now, coming out of the pose, popping the hands in front and coming onto your toes here. As you have the hands out in front and draw your pelvis back, you may feel this is enough for you today. You can stay here or bring the pelvis to the top of your feet to add pressure to the toes here. Again, find a focus point for the eyes so you're able to bring the focus back to the breath. Developing that comfortable, deeper inhale, breathing into the body, feel the space. Allowing the exhale to be longer and trying to melt a little into the sensations you can feel within the pose. Bring in the hands forward now to come out of the shape. Just begin to tap the feet onto the floor to relax a little where we just worked. Before spreading the fingers wide to lift the pelvis towards the sky, we're just going to take a downward dog here. Create some space around your neck, your shoulders. Draw the hips back, lengthen through the front of the body. You can walk the heels up and down to stretch through the backs of the legs. Before coming into a neutral position in your downward dog, bring it to the breath here. Try and melt into the shape just for a couple of breaths now. Stepping forward with the right leg. Dropping the left knee to the floor and bringing the right knee over the toes into an overstepping dragon. You could use padding for your back knee. We can use blocks to support the hands. The blocks can be in any height. 
as you bring the blocks back towards the body, this will bring you into a more upright overstepping dragon. So choose a position that feels right for your body. You also have the option of bringing the left hand to the back thigh and placing the right hand on your right knee if you prefer this position. Don't worry if the right heel comes off the floor. The target is the left side of the front of your pelvis, working into your hip flexor here and stimulating both the stomach and the spleen meridians as we hold here. Let's bring it back to the breath. Keep breathing into the body. Remember to direct the breath into the parts of the body where you need the support. As we stay with this breath, stay receptive to how the weight of your pelvis drops deeper towards the ground as we bring this sense of no effort. Notice how the body melts into its own shape. You can drop a little deeper into the pose by lifting up through the front of the body or draw the weight down towards the floor. It's a conscious relaxation, listening and responding to any messages the body may be offering as we work this side. Slowly dropping the hands to the floor now, spreading your fingers to step back into your downward dog. Draw the hips back to lengthen through the front of the body. Soft shoulders. Just taking a couple of breaths here to release the spine. Stepping forward with that left foot when you're ready. Remember, you could use padding for the back knee. Making sure the left knee is over towards the front of the toes. Dropping into the right side of the front of your pelvis, your hip flexors here. Remember, you can use blocks to support your hands. And bring in the blocks into any height to support your body. The closer the blocks are towards the body will bring the body into an upright position. You also have the option to bring that right hand to the right leg and place the left hand on top of the left knee. Once you have your shape, let's bring it back to the breath here. 
really allowing that breath to do the work for you. Dropping both hands to the side of your mat, spread the fingers to step back again into our downward dog. Create some space around the neck, the shoulders as you draw the hips back. And just take a couple of deep breaths here. Stepping forward with your right foot, again drop that left knee down, you could use padding. Have the foot this time fairly in line with the knee and take that right foot to the edge of your mat. We're going to come into a low dragon. Your hands can stay on the floor or you can use blocks here for the hands, your elbows. You also have the option of bringing the elbows to the floor. You could rest your head into the hands. And we also have the option of bringing the right hand to the back of the body and taking hold of that left foot. Dropping the left hip towards the floor. The target is the left hip flexor, the front of that left thigh, going deeper into the stomach meridian in particular here. So finding that breath, releasing all effort, bring that sense of surrender to your practice today.
just staying receptive here. Just notice how you're finding the pose. Do allow yourself to respond. Our dragons can feel quite young like they can be difficult to create a sense of stillness and surrender. So do allow yourself to really tune in to the messages of the body. Our spiritual inquiry begins with getting to know the self. This includes the physical and allowing yourself to respond and emotional noticing how certain poses make you feel and also the mental patterns of the self as we stay with the stillness. Dropping both hands to the side of your mat, spread the fingers to step back again into our downward dog. Create some space around the neck, the shoulders as you draw the hips back. And just take a couple of deep breaths here. Stepping forward with that left foot, coming onto your low dragon on this side. Taking the foot slightly wider. Remember you could use blocks for the hands or elbows. You can also bring the elbows to the floor, supporting the head here. You also have the option of taking the left hand towards that right foot, dropping the right hip in whatever shape you're taking, finding your breath. Staying receptive. So just notice how working this side of the body feels for you, noticing the physical, the emotional, and your mental responses.
stepping back into our final downward dog now spreading the fingers root down through the hands connect with the earth here drawing the hips back lengthen through the front of your body legs can be bent or straight as you bring the focus to your breath here soft shoulders soft neck before dropping the knees towards the floor coming into a child's pose your hands can be bricks to support the head you can rest the arms out in front or take the hands around to the back of the body towards the feet soft shoulders soft neck allowing the spine to round soft belly as we take our rebound here just notice how the body feels and being receptive to how the front of your hips and where we just worked begin to respond to the resting pose slowly and mindfully coming out of your child to pop yourself onto the front of the body if you have any tightness or compression in your lower back you could take the legs wider as you pop onto your elbows coming into a sphinx pose here if you wish to stay in this shape you could use a block to support the head or you have the option of bringing a bolster under the elbows to create additional height if you wish to go deeper you could take blocks under the bolster to build your height up or you're welcome to work with straight arms here relaxing the shoulders release the weight of the body relaxing the thighs So let go of all efforts 
of the bones of the body. Trust in the process. Allowing the breath to be the anchor as you offer a sense of surrender with each breath. Notice if you have a physical habit of holding on as part of our physical patterns to allow us to feel safe. We can hold subconsciously within the body. Mentally scan your body and actively relax all parts. Notice how this feels to offer complete surrender to both body and mind. Slowly and mindfully now, releasing the body down to the floor. You could stay here on the front of the body or come onto the back. As we take our rebound here. Relaxing your shoulders, your head. Releasing the weight of the pelvis, the weight of the spine. Keeping your focus on the areas of the body where you felt the previous pose and just observe how the bitterness of where you just worked melts into the sweetness as you let go here.
gently pushing into your hands now at the side of the body to take a mountain heart position. You could place a block to support the chest and the head or maybe just a bolster under the body. Having the hips drawn back, the arms out in front, you could take the hands wider to create some space around the shoulders, the neck. Melt in the chest, the heart center towards the floor. Make sure the head, the neck is comfortable. You could use support here. As we open the front of the body here, stimulating into both the stomach and spleen meridians. Both meridians run through the front of the body. Your stomach meridian runs directly through the center of the front of the body from the groin. And the spleen meridian more to the side of the front of the body at the edge of the rib cage. And internal branches also run all the way through up the throat to the face. Sustain, receptive, remind yourself you're working both the connective tissue system and your meridian system today. Remember to allow this to motivate your practice as you bring some stillness back to the pose here. Pushing back into our hands now. To come back into our child's pose, you could use a cushion under your pelvis. Remember the options for your hands. Relax your shoulders, soft spine, soft belly. Just feeling the breath at the back of the heart as we take our resting and rebound pose here.
gently rolling out of the child now to come onto the back or the front of your body. The legs can be bent or straight here as we take a short rebound. Just releasing the weight of the spine, the shoulders, the whole of the pelvis and letting go for a moment here. Coming onto the back of the body if you're on your front. Coming high on the toes with the knees bent to lift your pelvis. Placing your bolsters or blocks or both under the sacrum, the flat part of the lower back to come into a bridge variation. We're going to straighten the legs here. The arms can be above the head or at the sides of the body. The target here is the front of the body, stimulating into both the stomach and the spleen meridians. The front of the thigh, the groin, across the belly, the chest, all the way to the face. Offering that sense of surrender as you allow the support under the body to fully take your weight. Notice how it feels to completely let go here. Surrender or effort, melting into the pose with each exhale and just staying receptive to the physical sensations you feel as you begin to release but also how it feels in the mind to offer this complete sense of surrender here.
before gently releasing the hands to the sides of the body, just bend your legs here. Coming onto your toes, so you can push into the toes to lift your pelvis gently, using your hands to remove your blocks, your bolsters, so you're able to release down towards the ground now. As the pelvis comes down, just take a moment here to relax the lower back. Just be receptive to how the lower back, the sacrum, releases towards the floor, the tailbone. How the front of your pelvis feels as we take this rebound here. Bringing the knees to the chest now, using your hands on your kneecaps as you draw the knees to the chest just to release a little into that lower back. We're going to take our final shape now of a twisting pose. Dropping the right arm to the right side of the body in a T position. Keeping the shoulders soft, the neck. As we take our bent legs over to the left side. If you have a gap under the knees, you could use support. Relax your feet. If you have gaps between the knees, you could use support cushions here. The knees can be higher towards the navel to stimulate into the middle of the spine. Or you can drop the knees lower than your pelvis to work more into the sacrum. Just notice what feels good for your body. Massaging into our stomach, our spleen here, our internal organs, the digestive system. Let's bring that surrender back to the practice. Allowing complete no effort now, even with the breath. Just allow the breath to find its own rhythm as you bring that sense of stillness and surrender to this shape.
bringing the knees to the chest now, using your hands on your kneecaps as you draw the knees to the chest just to release a little into that lower back. Taking that left arm out to the side of the body into a T position. Relaxing the shoulders as we drop the knees over towards the right side. Use your support where you need it here. And play with the position of your knees to target the part of your spine that feels good for you. Once you have your shape, let's bring it back to the intention, offering a sense of complete surrender here. Notice how it feels in both body and mind as you allow yourself to fully release and let go. Mindfully and slowly bringing the knees back to the chest, just hugging those knees to the chest. Release a little into that lower back. You can also rock the back into the floor if this feels good for your body. Before we take our final shape, our Shavasana, maybe you like some padding under the knees or the legs can be in any position that suits you, rolling back your shoulders to create some space from the shoulders and ears. Also spreading the shoulder blades wide to open the back of the heart. Create some space between the body, the arms, 
relax your hands. Draw the chin gently towards the chest to open the back of the neck. You could use a cushion to support your head. Allowing yourself to be still, withdrawn and content now. Using the breath as a tool to bring stillness to the mind. Notice the breath flow into the body. Notice the breath flow out of the body. Consciously keeping the awareness with the breath. I will leave you in Shapasana to stay here for as long as you need to. I hope you've enjoyed your class with me today. Do come back and see me again. Namaste.